coming. It's okay after this. At the roundabout, take the first exit to West Middle Road. This is all changed and grown up since I was here. Exit to West Middle Verde Road. Big casino. Big casino. Fancy. In one. Imagine living in that thing, having to climb up. Take your glasses off. <laughs> I'm keeping my glasses off. I won't cook for Yeah, I think there's other stuff around there. Right. You imagine trying to get up in that thing. struck their cliff home, they had to make use of a naturally eroded alcove and fit 20 rooms into the shape of its contours. 20 rooms. Hmm. Cycles of care. Around the year 1400, people began leaving their homes here. 500 years later, its walls were still largely intact. They had ladders up there. This is so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Of course, Guy and Sweet Pea have taken off ahead of me, leaving me all alone to navigate this beautiful pathway. It's a third of a mile walk around here. Oh, look through there. Oh, look, 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 look. Beautiful, beautiful. Which way did he go? I guess he's up here. Oh, you're up there. Oh, 
Look at the holes in the rocks. What's this say? People next door, the cliff may seem a featureless stone face with a few holes and broken walls, but look closely and the rocks reveal the outline of a once large and vibrant neighbor to Montezuma Castle. Yeah. Oh. I think this thing just went dead. No, no, it, it blanks out, say the battery. It's still working. In order to see what's happening, all you gotta do is press it right there. Bring the screen back. It does it, the battery. And these were all rooms down through here. I didn't realize they had rooms down here. I thought everything was up there halfway up the cliff. But see, there's rooms down here too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Sweet Pea, what you think? Sweet Pea, what you think? <laughs> She's not impressed. Look at all these rooms. There's a soil, whatever you call them. They grind their grain. And I think these are mesquite trees with the small, small needles on them. I think that's what they call mesquite. <laughs> Look at the white bark. Mm -hmm. Okay, alcoves and cabots. The abundant alcoves and rock shelters found in cliffs throughout the Verde Valley served as homes, storage units, and spiritual sites. Ah. Scratching bush, cat claw, acacia, or so did acacia family bush. A bush that scratches you. <laughs> oh boy, look at that tree. Oh, they had a beautiful home down here, didn't they? <laughs> Must be as far as you can go. It's down there. Ooh. Warning venomous snakes observed in the area. Ah. What, maybe rattlesnakes? Beaver Creek has always been a major yeah. focus of life in the Verde Valley. Prehistoric Sinagua farmers constructed Montezuma Castle and other structures near the creek. There's a ripper going down through there. In the morning, venomous snakes observed in the area.
don't know what kind of tree that is, but the leaves are, I don't know, kind of like maple leaves. But look at the bark. Beautiful bark. Maybe there'll be a sign up here somewhere that'll tell just exactly what kind of tree that is. I thought that was an acacia, and it's not. Oh, look, the tiny, tiny morning glory. I guess that's a morning glory. Oh. Growing a livelihood. While many details of life in this settlement will never be fully known, it is clear that farming, craft, and trade thrived here. Hello. <laughs> North Carolina. Really? You have a little bit of accent as well. Yeah, we're the mountains of North Carolina. He's actually from the Piedmont down there where his accent. I was very proper speaking when I met him, and he was really, really country. So I learned how to speak his language. <laughs> well, I want to tell you, when I, I grew up in East Texas, and I, was, I went out way to school, and I tried to straighten up. I took a speech course, you know, and uh -huh. got on my face a little bit. I went home to talk to my dad. And in two minutes, I was, <laughs> you I lost was it. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to do, yeah. and uh, I mean, we sent our daughter down to Wingate College down she near Charlotte. Too, and came back, and she talked just like people up north. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so undoubtedly, it, it wires off on you. Yep, for sure. Mm -hmm. so where y'all going today? Ah, oh, we're heading down to Yuma. Yeah, Yuma. Down Mexico. Yuma. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get some dental work done. Oh, good. A lot of yeah. people do that. Go down to Mexico for that purpose. Yeah. Finish up. He got the first part of his implants done. Now okay. he's got to go finish it up. Finish so. it up. Well, good. Yeah, I have a friend. <laughs> I volunteered to go there with a friend, and he goes down there. Stays in Yuma and goes to the dentist across the border. Mm -hmm. Good.